to watch. The mood is tense. I tried to get an interview with him, but they said, nope, you can't do that. He's a live bear. He will literally rip your face off. The most popular zoos is getting ready to say goodbye to its giant panda. After more panda. than two decades, the San Diego Zoo is sending the last of its two giant pandas to China at the end of its multi-year loan arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> He's going up. That's not how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to be the panda. Oh. It's out of here! Panda jerk! Great story. Compelling and rich. The San Diego Zoo's giant pandas are part of a unique breeding program to save the species. It was the first joint research program between China and the United States when it began in 1996. But now, the most successful breeding program outside of China is coming to a close. From kicking back while munching on bamboo to watching their roly-poly bodies tumbling on the ground, giant pandas are an iconic attraction at the San Diego Zoo. But now, visitors are lining up for a last look at the...
说这句话就是真的，他是真的，跟他考起大学多。那你娃娃是真的钱多嘛？真的多的。那你为啥子去电视台不不回来搞钱？他过来节目，在公司给节目，他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他他CBS This Morning was first to meet the adorable ball of fluff back in 2013. Whether born here or abroad, all pandas belong to China. The zoo says successful breeding and an increased awareness of conservation help boost China's wild population of pandas to around 2,000, downgrading the panda from endangered to vulnerable in 2016.
Look how cold he is. <laughs> he is freezing. think is that is that pretty cool the flying machine yeah cool cool say one click travel yeah you guys are not gonna be customers